businesses are more upbeat about the economy and their prospects in the first half of the year following the country's full reopening and higher consumer demand. However, elevated and stubborn inflation remains a big challenge for many businesses. This is why the government is wrapping up efforts to address price pressures, as we hear in this report from Naomi Tiburcio. In the three decades of operation of this carinderia in Quezon City, owner Imelda says the pandemic has been the toughest challenge of her business. Today, her business is getting back on track. Tapos, paano sa kasama namin, pagsweldo, tapos pagkain rin, yun, nakakapawi rin kami ng konti. According to the Department of Finance, along with the opening up of the economy and the increase in consumer demand, many businesses are increasing confidence in the direction of their business in the country. The confidence index in the business expectation survey increased from 23.9%. To 34 percent in the first quarter of 2023. But for a small business owner like Imelda, inflation remains a big problem. A month after President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. approved the creation of the Interagency Committee on Inflation and Market Outlook to help address inflation, the committee headed by Neda in the UF confirmed that they have started monitoring the principal causes of inflation, the supply and demand of basic foods, as well as the use of technology to monitor food production in the country. Yeah, sometimes, uh, mali yung timing ng importation and eh. may crisis na, i-import ka, tas dadating yung gin-import mo at the time na nag-harvest naman. So, no, magiging, it, it's really poor, poorly timed. So, as I said, we want to introduce science into decision making and that's what we are going to do. No? The Interagency Committee said that the key to addressing the inflation problem is to increase the country's own food production. We only resort to importation if there is a difference no, between supply and demand, the gap. We have to fill up the gap. Otherwise, we will we'll have this periodic uh, price inflation, food price inflation. Diokno is confident that the peak of the inflation this year has been reached after inflation dropped to 8.6% in February 2023. Naomi Timur Show, For The Nation.